All right, so in this Android Studio tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you how to create this custom gesture, which can be a square, can be a circle, can be any kind of uh, gesture you want, but it's gonna require this gesture builder, which you can find on the Google Play Store just by typing gesture builder. And in the app, you're just gonna create a new gesture, whatever you like, I just created a backward N, and you're gonna save it with any name you prefer, because it's just gonna to save to a file that you can find in your phone under the Android folder. You're gonna find a pack.gesture app, and there's gonna be a gesture.txt file in there and we're gonna use that in our uh, project. So next you wanna create an Android resource directory and make it a raw resource directory where you can go ahead and enter the gesture.txt file. And this is just so we can use it later. It contains all the information and all the gestures you might have recorded. And then we're gonna to go to our XML file and we're gonna create a relative layout. And in here, we're gonna actually insert a gesture.gesture overlay view. And we're gonna set the gesture color to a slight gray or a light gray and an uncertain color to red, so you can show the user if they're doing something wrong or it's unrecognized. And finally, you want to add at the bottom an uh, events interception enabled and add it to true. This just prevents you from clicking on buttons or the scroll view from being activated while you're making a gesture. And finally, in our main activity file, we want to extend the gesture overlay view and add an on gesture perform listener and implement the method. And at the top, you can see I created a G library variable and set it to null. Then we're gonna add a method in the on create called gesture setup and we're gonna add the code right here right now. So G library is gonna equal gesture libraries and from the raw resource with the context of this and it's gonna be our gesture text file from our raw folder. And then we're gonna write if G library loads is equal to false, then we are just gonna finish the activity. So nothing really happens. Otherwise, we're gonna do g overlay dot add gesture perform listener, and the listener is gonna have the context of this. And finally, we're gonna go on our on gesture performed function, and we're gonna write value predictions, which is gonna equal to g library and recognize the gesture. And we're gonna add a let function, which is gonna be predictions.let, and if the size is more than zero and the size of predictions at the index of zero score is more than one, then we're gonna add that action and we're gonna equal it to it at the index of zero dot name. And this actually, because you'll see later that if you create this gesture file in the other app, it will have uh, separate gestures, but it's gonna be on the same file. So essentially the it at index of zero dot name just names which gesture you're doing. So you can use that later to say, if gesture name blah, blah, blah works, then do this. And as you can see there, I did a backwards N and it doesn't recognize anything else besides that. It, it just does its best to find out the form of what you drew and it uses it as a gesture. But it's really cool if you wanna create uh, custom gestures. And uh, yeah, I know this tutorial was a bit all over the place, but uh, bear with me on this one. It was a lot more difficult to talk about than I expected, but otherwise I hope it helped and uh, see you in another video.